This week, First Lady Melania Trump unveiled her Be Best children's anti-bullying campaign, a great initiative. I feel strongly that as adults, we can and should be best at educating our children. Today, I'm very excited to announce Be Best. But she was attacked immediately by the media. There are a lot of realities that she's dealing with. Um, this is this is a first lady who is not um, culturally um, American, but she is learning the ways. Then New York Times reporter Glenn Thrush criticizing her grammar, tweeting for non-English speakers, preferably those from Eastern Europe, is be best an idiom in your language? And the far left haters on Twitter mocking her accent. Here to react, video bloggers and Trump supporters Diamond and Silk. Ladies, always good to have you back. But I mean, aren't Republicans, they're supposed to be the ignorant, dumb ones that are criticizing the accents of immigrants, not the enlightened cultural elites in the mainstream media, right? But you see, the Democrats are the ones doing it like the April Ryan. She probably only know how to speak one language compared to our first lady that know how to speak five languages. That's you know, right. I really wish that they would lay off of this first lady. She's doing a phenomenal job. She uh, and, and just leave her alone. She's doing a great job. And for them to demean her and disparage her is sad to me. It's yeah. very sad. If the shoe was on the other foot, they wouldn't have done this here kind of thing to Michelle Obama. That's right. They're really letting they hate show. It's really showing and it's a shame. Yeah, you mean the high heel was on the other foot. Don't forget, mm -hmm. those stilettos yeah. are pretty tall. <clears throat> also, Michelle Obama, former first lady, saying she's very concerned about women in America. Let's listen. In light of this last election, I'm concerned about us as women and how we think. If we're not comfortable with the notion that a woman could be our president compared to what? You know, we have to have that conversation with ourselves as women. I think Kanye needs to get to the first lady there because uh, it doesn't sound like she's a free thinker. Aren't women allowed to vote Republican and Democrat however they want? We, we are allowed. Right. You know, with all due respect, Michelle Obama, we don't need her lecturing us about who we should and should not vote for. Mm -hmm. for. And what she needs to do is maybe ask the question, maybe she's feeling guilty about the fact that she didn't vote for Hillary Clinton back in, uh, when they were running <laughs> back in 2007. Yeah, right. Maybe that's what she's feeling guilty about. Mm -hmm. And why does she keep talking about Hillary Clinton? Was Hillary Clinton supposed to be given a, a kickback, patty whack, give a, give a dog a bone by somebody? Hmm. And Hillary Clinton can run tomorrow. We we still won't vote for her, even no. if she tried to lure us in with hot sauce. Absolutely not. <laughs> That's a great point. You know, if she's supposed to be pro-women, she should have voted against her husband in the Democratic Absolutely. primary in 2008 and That's voted right. for Hillary. Okay. Yeah. Lastly, we have Maxine Waters going nuts on the House floor with Congressman Mike Kelly tried to make a point. Maxine wasn't having it. We are trying to make sure that we're making America great every day in every way. And the best way to do that is to stop talking about discrimination and start talking about the nation. We're coming together as a people in spite of what you say. I resent that, and I resent the remark about making America great again. He's down here making a speech for this dishonorable president of the United States of America. Having said that, I reserve the balance of my time, and no, yield? I do not yield not one second to you. To thank not you, one second. Not one second to you. Wow. wow. Mad wow. Maxine getting a little feisty on the floor there, ladies. Yeah. Let me tell you what's wrong with Maxine and these Democrats. Mm -hmm. They're upset because they dropped the ball on the American people by ignoring us and giving us enough to keep us quiet, but not enough to make a difference. Mm -hmm. So a businessman come along named Donald Trump and pick up that same ball, and now he scored a touchdown by giving us tax cuts and more money in our pocket. That's right. What Maxine Waters need to know is that Republicans believe in going to work and working. Maybe she need to switch her party to Republican so she can get to work. That's right, because we know that she, they call her the poverty pimp. That's because she live in a mansion while the district she represent live in poverty. Mm -hmm. All right. There they are, the ladies, Diamond and Silk. Chit Chat Tour underway. Go to DiamondandSilk.com to find out more. Thank you guys very much.